two points off the top two with only goal difference separating them. The new year brings about a huge clash to kick off 2024 as Derby County and Peterborough United go head to head on the opening day of the new calendar year at Pride Park. Starting the year on the front foot is always important as the intense Christmas schedule comes to an end. But the repercussions from this encounter on the 1st of January could have a huge knock-on effect when we get to the close of the season in May. Posh playing from left to right on your screen as we get underway. I'll be in their traditional white shirts with the black shorts playing from right to left. He won by the home side, Bird able to feed it forward. He's going to wait on the edge of the box as it's swung in, and Collins with the header, it's a perfect start. Beautiful work by Collins, just peeling away from his marker. And Pride Park erupts in ecstasy. Cross may have just taken that little deflection that forces Collins to come back to it, and he does so well with the header. Cleared away as Knight's ball can't find a teammate. It's well worked wide as Parkhazen trying to release the counter on that right side, but the visitors come the other way. Straight over the top of the crossbar. No worry for the Derby County keeper. Fancy footwork, but the finish certainly lacking. A little bit of space on this near side. Hoku sends it across, and it opens up. Harrison Burrows finds the equaliser. Two goals in the opening ten minutes, and these two sides are going toe-to-toe -to -toe today. Tip for tap, blow for blow. Peterborough United have certainly made sure that they've responded to going behind early on. And Burrows finds the equaliser. Ferguson side looking to play it out from the back very easy on the eye when they work it well Poku just had a little nibble on his heel didn't he from Forsyth space on this near side as Forsyth comes in to cover we'll go down the centre however it's well struck but over the top of the crossbar once more you have to say that Efren Mason Clark has really struggled with that final finish so far today two very similar chances just coming in with that right boot. Another one straight over the woodwork. Kyoso. Continuing his run down the right. Maybe he looked for. Foku gives it inside once more. Dug out from the feet. And Ricky J. Jones just can't find the target. I have to say, since that equaliser has gone in, it's been one-way traffic. It's all for the away side right now. for the long ball here as Jones just putting a bit of extra pressure on filling in of course for Johnson Clark Harris whose future at the club is certainly up for speculation this January need to focus on the defensive efforts right now however Barkhazen steps inside took a ricochet and almost caused even more problems with Wilson pushing forward onto it Wilson trying to come away with it and does excellent work from the midfielder there a good header or two from Collins Far more difficult that one, however, just to angle it back across goal. He's not in line with the posts either. Straight into the hands of Fintali. Have support on the overlap here if they want to use it. That block certainly causing problems for the keeper there as well. Danger not cleared. This is another chance for Mason Clark. Decides to lay it off instead. Forces the save from the keeper. Well, perhaps just lacking in a little bit of confidence in the end there from Mason Clark, which is why he was happy to lay it off to Randall. He had a better sight at it too. Given away, frustration just emanating from the home supporters hit. In a cheap position too. Tipped over. The onslaught continues though from the posh. 
Having the better of the chances, and Ronnie Edwards just unable to capitalise. Long ball over the top. Lovely work by Burrows there. Good pressure, but Cipriano able to deal with it. Poku. Still coming forward and into the 18-yard box. Mason Clark lays it off. Over the top of the crossbar from Joe Randall. Went closer from further out in the first 45 minutes. What an opportunity this is for the attacking midfielder. It's a bit of pandemonium for Derby County at the back, but that has to hit the target and definitely should be the next goal in this one. A bit of space on this far side of the field for Kyoso. Not able to do anything with it, though. Just Knight under pressure. Handball given. Poku. Just using his arm. I think it may have come, however, because of the challenge on him. Teasing ball towards the far post. There's an even bigger shout there, and it's a penalty. Well, you heard it from the stands, and you saw it as well from the Derby County players inside the area. Yeah, it certainly touches the arm of the midfielder, doesn't it? Beaten away by the keeper, but turned in at the second attempt by Collins. Double digits now in the league for the centre forward. Needed two attempts at it, but kept his nerve, kept his cool. And Derby back in front. There's a lot of room on that far side. Poku cuts onto the left boot, evades two challenges. He's behind for a corner. So much space to swing it in for Burrows. And it's a great header from the winger. Kwame Poku, just delicate with the nod, picked his spot. Pride Park is suddenly silent. Just nods it past the goalkeeper. Chipoye. Plenty of venom on the cross. Still going to ping around inside the penalty area too and turned in from close range. Ricky J. Jones just wanted it more, and in stoppage time, Peterborough have snatched surely all three points. They have huffed and they have puffed, and they have silenced Pride Park completely now, except for that little pocket of travelling supporters. Launch forward to safety. Last chance for... Derby to try and salvage something here. You knew it was going to be big when two of the top sides in Sky Bet League One met on the opening day of the calendar year. But I don't think anybody expected the absolute barnstormer that we got in the end from Derby County and Peterborough United. Darren Ferguson's side getting all three points thanks to that late winner in a five goal thriller from Ricky J. Jones. And it finishes here at Pride Park. Derby County two, Peterborough United three.